Hi and thanks very much for joining me. I'm Dean the Vaping Biker. Today I just wanted to do a real quick video um, just because I've had a lot of people message me to ask me if I'm going to Vape Jam in the UK this coming weekend um, and to let me know that it's their first time and they're not sure what to expect and all that sort of good stuff. So what I wanted to do is just put a quick video together to give you an idea of what sort of stuff you can do to help ensure that you have a really good time. Things to take, things to be aware of and all that good stuff. Um, just had a little bit of a haircut today to uh, to make myself look a little bit prettier for the event, you know. <laughs> now then, oh, before we start, by the way, the uh, remember the Amit Tank. I think I mentioned this dual core version, dual core, dual coil version um, in the last vlog, and I've got to say I'm quite impressed with it. It's actually way better than the original Amit Tank. So uh, yeah, two coils in, coils in there, and uh, it seems to be going like good. Anyway. Let's carry on, shall we? I've got a little list of things to tell you. And we've also got a couple of messages from uh, the wonderful Jess Marie from DH Design, DHD, uh, DHD Accessories, and Kent Twisted Messes, and I'll be putting those at the end. Now then, okay, so what to expect? We've got a lot of vendors there. There will be a lot of vendors, whether you're at Jam in the UK, whether you're at Expo in the UK, um, or even if you're at Vape Fest, although Fest tends to have a lot, of, lot less vendors, um, there still is a lot there so be prepared to uh, have a lot of movement a lot of walking and a lot of wandering around to go and see people now because of the amount of vendors that are there and the sheer amount of people that are there you may not be able to get to see your sort of planned vendor straight away so there, it's always good to kind of get a lay of the land to start with and then you can go back at kind of relevant times now also when they do things on the stage it can be very very loud now this is a great opportunity if you're not involved um, Oh, I haven't turned my phone off. If you're not interested in the uh, in the super loud kind of bottle giveaways, if they do that this time, I don't know if they are or not. But uh, if you're not interested in that, then that is a brilliant time to circle around to your favourite vendors. Go and check them out because then a lot of people will be in the stage area. So, um, And it also gets you out of the noise and the hustle and bustle if that's not your thing, you know. So uh, that's a good little trick to see the people that you want to see. Wait for something to happen on stage and then go and, uh, and see who you want to see. But uh, getting a layer of the land to start with, with a good old walk around everything, is a brilliant way to understand what's what and what's going on. I don't know if they're going to have little kind of um, uh, pamphlets and stuff saying who's where, but if they do, then... Uh, Make a little cross, cross off who you want to see because that's always one of those things that uh, you can come away from an event and you go, ah, oh, shit, I forgot to go and see X and X, you know, and uh, that's always a bit of a bummer. So if you can mark it down, there may even be a map on the website, I don't really know. But uh, if not, if there's one there, it's a brilliant, brilliant suggestion just to mark off who you want to see whilst you're checking out and, uh, and going around and seeing stuff. Now then. Um, the food and drink is generally quite expensive at these things, so uh, be prepared to do that, to, to pay kind of a little bit more than you would do ordinarily. However, what I would suggest is to take a big old kind of litre bottle of water with you, because obviously you will be vaping a lot, and you will be vaping a lot. And so uh, it's very easy to get quite dehydrated from that, from all the, you, you don't realise how much exercise you're doing with all the walking around. So uh, yeah, be aware of that, and um, and yeah. Yeah, just take some water with you or some something isotonic like a LucasAid Sport or something along those lines just to keep your energy levels up while you're going around. But by all means, still go out and uh, and buy yourself some some grub and some uh, and some drinks. But uh, just to be aware of that, always a good idea to carry some drinks with you. Um, now, like I said, the, uh, the 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 stage events do tend to be very very heavily populated, and so there is a little bit of pushing and shoving and all that sort of malarkey if there is people throwing out bottles of juice and t-shirts and all that. It's a, it's kind of akin to kind of a gig, you know, just lots of people going a little bit bonkers for a, a free bottle of juice, which I don't really get my head around, to be honest with you, but shit happens, you know? So be aware of that, and if you are a little bit sensitive or, you know, something along those lines, then kind of move away from the main throw of things, you know? Um, now then, things you should 
you should uh, be or, or not go into or should not I guess but uh, don't go into into sort of the large crowds like at those stage areas without um, being aware of your pockets and backpacks and all that sort of stuff any bags you've got and all that sort of stuff just because whilst we are a wonderful community as with any community the larger it gets there's always going to be dickheads in the middle of it that uh, think they can help themselves to something for free so make sure you don't have your mods and your juice and stuff on uh, on display and uh, you're aware of where things are pockets are closed at all times and if you are wearing a backpack a great idea is to sort of have it down in front of you when you're in that situation that just makes sure that uh, in the unlikely event that someone is a knobhead and thinks they deserve your stuff more than you do you don't lose out now luckily it doesn't happen a massive amount but as I said with any group these things do happen so just be aware of that um, don't leave your mods, atomizers, new purchases, anything like that unattended for exactly the same reason. You know, just look after your stuff. Sensible, really. Just normal stuff. The same as you'd do in any big city, you know. If you're wandering around London, then you'd make sure that your wallet and purse and all that sort of stuff is uh, is safe. And this is exactly the same. Now then, as I said, take water. Take an extra drip tip because there'll be a lot of juice tasting going on there. There'll be a lot of, uh, there'll be a lot of samples available. Um, and so for that reason, then take a drip tip because you can bag it in a tank and then you can have a vape off that that just helps stop sped it spreading any bugs and lurgy and all that sort of stuff you know that the only person who's had the lips around your tip is you <laughs> let's be fair that's what we all like to know so then so there's that one take deodorant take deodorant antiperspirant if you can because they tend to get hot they tend to get smelly and if you're if you're someone that and you know it's very easily done you kind of you're walking around and you realize that the pits are getting a little bit angry then uh, it's always nice just to have a little kind of a little bit of a spray up so you're not stinking the place out you know you know we all do it it's a natural thing it's okay but uh, but yeah just be aware of that one um, extra batteries. Make sure you take extra batteries. If you do take extra batteries, if I was a pre-planning kind of person, I would have something in front of me. But make sure you've got a battery case for them. Make sure that you do not, under any circumstances, have batteries loose in your pocket. We know that that's a really silly thing to do in the industry. However, some people obviously still do it, unfortunately. So uh, let's make sure that that doesn't happen at a vape event. Um, make sure you're in battery cases. And if there are any battery manufacturers there, or even some of the other vendors occasionally have little, little uh, rubberized kind of battery holders and all all that sort of stuff and they're absolutely worth their weight in gold but otherwise get them in a uh, get them in a nice and sensible battery case just to look after your own stuff but make sure you take plenty you will be vaping way more than you do on a normal day so make sure you're there for that one um be nice to other people. I know this sounds really silly, but just, you know, be your be your brother's keeper as well. Be nice, be polite and all that sort of stuff. But if you see someone being a knobhead, whether it be at a vendor's stall or whether it be in, you know, in a public area or something like that, if someone's being a bit ropey, let someone know. Let the event security know. Let the vendors know if it's on their stall, obviously. People want to be aware of these things. Like I said, once again, it doesn't happen a whole hell of a lot. But on the unfortunate events it does, obviously it's a negative for everyone. And if uh, if a vendor's come across from abroad and they have uh, they have stuff nicked, then obviously they're not going to be quite so excited about coming back another time. So we all lose out. So let's just look after each other and bring that community. We know we're a close community, but let's, let's just keep that together and not lose sight of that. Um, you're not telling tales. You're not kind of, you're not, uh, you're not burning people for, for, for telling a vendor that that fella over there just wandered off with one of your mods it's you know look after people look after each other um now, based on that one, I'm going to tell you how I'm prepping. However, right now, I'm just going to put in, I was uh, I was at uh, Vape Industries in Norwich, in both Lowestoft and Norwich, and um, I was uh, I was hanging out with Kent at Twisted Messes and Jess Marie from DHD, and uh, I got them to give a couple of uh, ideas of what they make sure they bring to conventions. So uh, let's cut to that. This is Kent from Twisted Messes. <laughs> And uh, my top three tips for a convention is to bring bring enough batteries so you don't run out of batteries because you know, you'll have juice there you can buy for cheap so don't worry about that but batteries are kind of hard to come by so bring enough batteries to last you. Comfortable shoes because you're walking around all day on concrete. You know just keep an open mind anything can happen and uh, you know 
what happens there stays there, so. <laughs> <laughs> I need a vapor eye ultim at all times. A DHD double helix one, just in case you were <laughs> Or a vaping bike one if you want a proper classy one. Oh. <laughs> I need one of those. Need some baked tape lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> Good adult beverages. <laughs> Those are my three. Oh, adapters? Yeah, I'm sure you bring the adapters for the country. The, the correct to... adapters, yeah, or you have a battery charger that doesn't work. <laughs> may or may not have happened to me. Oops. And so there you go. That was that was the best that I could get out of. I didn't record it until about eleven o'clock at night, so <laughs> it was we we're all a little bit on the tired side. But um, but it was great hanging out with those two, and I'm really looking forward to hanging out with some more over the uh, over the coming weekend. Now then, when I was saying about politeness, now obviously there's going to be those guys there. There's going to be uh, Grim Green. There's going to be Ruby Roo, um, and a bunch of kind of people. If you do want to see most most people, are more than more than happy to do things like sign autographs or you know have a selfie and all that sort of good stuff but just be aware of personal boundaries and all that don't you know if someone's eating don't kind of when they've got a mouthful of food just go up to them and go oh I don't really like you take a picture take a picture sign this when they've got burgers fucking hanging out of their mouth and all that sort of stuff you know so just be sensible be sensible when would you like to be approached generally it's not when you're eating or it's not when you're having a piss so just be aware of those ones and uh, and everyone's golden but you'll have a brilliant brilliant in time everybody is super happy and super friendly and that goes to the vendors on the whole as well so you know don't go there expecting free stuff um, just go there and if you get some cheap stuff or free stuff usually there's some hella good deals going on there um, so if there is that sort of stuff then you're going to be on a winner just make sure that you are polite and uh, and respectful in in all of those circumstances you know don't get pissed off if you don't get freebies sometimes these vendors don't give freebies out because it takes business away from the actual B&Ms that we're trying to keep open at the moment so you know by by forcing people to give away stuff then you know it all kind of goes a bit wrong because if you go and get five litres of juice at a, a convention with a whole bunch of little bottles then uh, it's one of those things where you you know you, you, you're not going to want to go and buy any for a while which unfortunately is great for you but it's shit for every business so uh, we do want to keep those local businesses going just please, please, please be aware of that. Um, I don't know for sure if there is going to be free free juice giveaways in this in this uh, event at all anyway, to be honest. So we're going to have to see what goes on on the days. But uh, yeah, don't expect it. If you get it, then it's a good icing on the cake, I guess, you know? Now then, what am I doing? I am making sure that I am taking plenty of batteries. Um, I am gonna. I'm staying overnight, obviously, on a couple of nights, so I'm making sure that I take charges. Um, I'm making sure that I take pens because there's always a time to write on things. Like I said, with the with the uh, with the pamphlets and all that sort of stuff, or any other any other time, it's always a great idea to take pens, especially if you want to get someone like Nick or Ruby or Kent or Jess to sign your stuff. Then uh, obviously, just you know, take a pen. It makes sure that that's there's that not that awkward point of going, oh, can you sign this? And someone stands there and they go, I haven't got a pen. And you go, fuck, no, right. Oh, and then you can't find them five minutes later, you know? So um, if you want that kind of thing to happen, take something with you, you know? Um, now then, mods wise, I'm going to be taking a couple of mechs. I'm going to be taking a, uh, a rig, the rig setup. I'm probably going to be taking the Sabone as well. I think I'm going to be taking the Tesla 120 just because I think it's a funky little setup with the Amit dual core tank on the top there. I will be taking a Minikin V2 as well just because the battery life is spectacular, which is ideal in that situation. Um, and I will be taking probably the drone as well as a nice squonker computer because as we know, squonkers, you can get a whole bunch of juice in there nice and easy to fill up on the go no leaking no messing around and still all that rda flavor and that's the other thing when it comes to your rdas quite a number of the vendors may allow you to drip juice on your rdas don't take the piss and try and fill up a seven mil tank or something like that just drip it on your coils you know be normal <laughs> so yeah i mean i haven't quite sussed exactly what i'm taking but those things i'm pretty damn sure about i may take a uh, a couple of vape mats or something as well um but we'll uh, we'll we'll see about that one i might also take a couple of giveaway items just in case i see someone wearing a vaping biker t-shirt um and if i do then i may uh, i may just throw out a little thank you 
you know, something. Not sure what yet, but we'll come to that one later. Anyway, I think on top of that, uh, accessories, things like a coil master kit. Uh, I take mine everywhere with me just because I think it's just really, really fucking useful because it has everything you need to recoil in it and it's a nice manageable size. Um, I think that's about it, guys and girls. That's it. All I wanted to do was give you a quick kind of what to expect and what to look forward to at vape jam it's going to be an awesome time we're going to have a brilliant brilliant laugh there it's going to be busy it's going to be loud but um there's going to be a lot of great vendors there and a lot of great people so if you also if you're going by yourself don't be scared just say hi to people people are friendly as fuck and on that note thank you very much for watching i've been dean the vaping biker i will see you this weekend if you're at vape jam uk and uh have it large